Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Muhammad versus Walton. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Muhammad, you are here to prove that you are the father of the defendant's two-year-old daughter, Brooklyn. You claim the only reason she is denying paternity is because she wants to be in a relationship with the other man. Is that correct? Yes, Sean. Ms. Walton, you say you were secretly cheating on Mr. Muhammad and had sex with the other man almost every day of the month. Whoa. And there is no way Mr. Muhammad is Brooklyn's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Muhammad, you are convinced you are Brooklyn's father. Yes, Your Explain. Honor. Explain. First of all, I would never let another man raise my child. I was always raised to do the right thing, always raised to be a stand-up gentleman. I know, take care of all my children. You can look at Brooklyn now, see my face features, everything. I'm here today to prove today that I am the father. And you say it's not his baby, Ms. Walton. Yes, ma'am. I say that because during my conception date, I was having um, more sexual intercourse with the other guy than Mr. Muhammad. And you were having sex with this other guy behind his back, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So, what was the nature of your relationship with Mr. Muhammad around the time Brooklyn was conceived? Okay, the nature of our relationship was, um... Anwar was already having an affair with another woman before he had moved in with me. And, um... During that time, while he was having his affair, I was having my affair also. Oh, so you all no. were together but both having affairs? Yes. No. Well, baby, no, I wouldn't say no, we were together. No, 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 I was no. I... I wasn't having no fear. We were together. She told me that this gentleman was her cousin. Ooh. I didn't think nothing of it. She told you the other guy was her cousin? Was her cousin. Her cousin. That's not true, Your Honor. He's I always know, known this guy. I know. He was. I, that's the other man that she wanted to be with. So, you all... You're saying you were in a relationship. In a relationship. And you're saying you were not in a relationship when Brooklyn was conceived? No, we was not in a relationship. We were just living together. Wow. And you have wow. an older child together, am I correct? Yes, four years old. So, how did you manage wow. to sneak around with the other guy behind Mr. Muhammad's back? Well, what happens is we was having... We was sneaking off to the hotel and having our, you know, relations there. And where were you supposed to be? Where did you work. tell Mr. Muhammad you were? Work. I, I told him I was at work. <laughs> nah. All right. She ain't at work. She, had, she, would, Which she ain't I, at I, work. I did work, because during my pregnancy, I was working two jobs. So, I Mr. Muhammad she's wouldn't even come to me with anything. She's cheating, Your Honor. Why should she stay? She at work. She's cheating. Were you still intimate with Mr. Muhammad during that time as yes, well? Yes, I was. Oh. All right. Wow. So, wow. So, you were sleeping with wow. them both? She's yes, ma'am. Take me to the moment you find out you're pregnant. The moment I found out I was pregnant, I text the um, guy and I tell him I missed my period. Mr. Muhammad, during that time, who was living with me, got my phone, looked at the text message, and confronted Ain't me. wrong. That's wrong, Your Honor. What happened was I came home, she sleep, I looked at her phone, I started seeing a full-fledged text message about, about, about having sex, all that stuff. Y'all having a full, full relationship behind my back. So, you had, I had no, no I, I had idea. No, I had no idea about this man. You, like I said, she told me in the beginning that I was a cousin. I ain't thinking none of it. I'm thinking it's a family member. So, can you tell me how you found out about the man at all? Just start from the beginning. You stop having sex with me. Now, Anna, I know when you start having sex with me, it's a problem there. I know that. <laughs> so, she started to act funny. Started to be rebellious and started to do, to do funny things. So, that draw, that draw red flags to me. I grabbed the phone. I start looking at the text message. I see the, I see the conversation between her and the gentleman. Okay. I confront her about What did the conversation say? Basically saying that we having sex, period. Whoa. Sending pictures back and forth with each other. They sending body part pictures, all that stuff. Okay, so then how did you... You find out she's cheating. How do you find out she's pregnant? Your Honor, he found out through my cell phone. He's the type to like to go through your cell phone. He even took my cell phone for two months. Two and months. I yes, never took it. And I'm I never the took, I never took a cell phone. Only yes, time I... Only, yes, ma'am. He took only my time cell phone, I and he, he took my cell phone, and he looked at the text message, which I texted the guy and told him. He confronted me and asked me, why is you texting this guy? And I told him, I said, well, it's a possibility I could be pregnant. I thought that was your cousin. No, that's not my cousin. I've always <laughs> told you that wasn't my cousin. But he had, um, 
took the cell phone and he had uh, confronted me about the text message and he had asked me, well, whose child is it? And I told him, I said, it's his child. It's not yours. You find out she's pregnant. What's your recollection of that moment? My, my recollection of it is that I'm thinking that the baby's mom. We already had one child together. We, like I said, we was in a relationship and I am thinking I'm the only one that she sees from. I did not, like I said, I did not know nothing about the gentleman. And if you look at Brooklyn and look at me, we look alike, same little light. Everything is alike. I feel she got more of my features, Your Honor. Everything yeah. alike. She's smart like me. One time, I seen Brooklyn pour cereal. At one years old, pour cereal on milk. What child do you know that does that one? That's my, that's my genes. That's my Did you pour cereal and milk when yes, you I were did. one? Yes, I did. I used to always get this. I'm very smart. Unfortunately, smarts, they don't make babies. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. We they, want to know about the window of conception. I know the date. The date was February 21st in my mama house, in the bathroom. We was in the mood. She, get, she was in the mood. She go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom after. That's the date that we have, Brooklyn. Oh. Do you remember this date, Ms. On Walton? the sink. Your Honor, I, I remember us having sex at my house, not his mother's house. So, Mr. Muhammad, is it your testimony that you conceived your daughter, Brooklyn, in your mother's bathroom on, on the sink. Yes, ma'am. So when do you think you conceived? I conceived February the 4th. No, wow. the 5th. That's the day after our oldest um, daughter's birth, first birthday. But if you conceived that night, wouldn't that make Mr. Muhammad... The father. Brooklyn's biological but father? But I was having sex with him and the other guy that, 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 that whole this week. Look like me. Look at this like me. Look at her. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. I know I that. That's my baby I, right I, there. I think she's the other guy. You got to be crazy. So, did you ever ask your doctor about the conception date, Miss Walton? Yes. What did the doctor say? I took a pregnancy test um, a few days after we had... Um, a week after we had sex, the test came out positive. I waited a whole month to go to the doctor. And the doctor told me that I was eight weeks then. So, he went back to February 5th. I didn't even see... So, when the doctor told you Four. when you were pregnant, yes. you were eight weeks... Yes. And then that took you back to the window of time right around February 5th. Yes. Which is when you were having sex. With both of them. Oh, yes. with both of them. Yes. Oh. But and I was you... having more sex with the other guy than Mr. Muhammad. She want this baby to be his. That baby, look, this, look, like I said, I know the baby. I know, I know. When the first time I held Brooklyn, I didn't get to see Brooklyn until she was six months old. First time I held Brooklyn, I already know that she's mine. I, I can just tell if the kid's mine or not. It's certain characteristics that's mine. That's the day she was born. I didn't even get to see that. I didn't get to see none of that. And did you tell this other guy I'm pregnant? Yes, I told the other guy I was pregnant. Never told me nothing. But you didn't tell Mr. Muhammad? No. I told Mr. Muhammad after she's I lying. confirmed it with the doctor. She didn't tell me nothing. She's lying. She said that she, she never told me anything. When did you find out she was pregnant? I found out through my family. Miss Walton admits that she was having sex with both men, you and the other man. You weren't using protection with the other man? No. You weren't using Man. protection with Mr. Muhammad? No. Trifling. You were having sex around the window of conception with both men? Yes. Crazy. This is... 50-50, no matter how we slice it. Right. Did you tell the other man, I'm pregnant and this could be your baby? Yes, I told him. What was his response? His response was, um, he wanted a fraternity test once the baby was born. Uh, but he ended up but leaving... A paternity test, yeah. not a fraternity test. Yeah, your fraternity Anna. test. No, paternity. paternity. I'm sorry. Excuse me, Your Honor. My oldest, <laughs> my oldest daughter, my oldest daughter, Brooklyn looks like my oldest daughter. If you look at them two girls right there, they look, it's like, they look, that's a light. That's my first daughter right there. She full. They are adorable. Oh, Thanks. adorable. Those are my babies. Those are my babies right there. Look at me and look at them. Those are my babies right there. Yeah, they may be your that. babies, but I'm taking care of them. Oh, I take care of them, too. No, I you do not. I take care of them, too. I ask you all Listen, the time. listen. I'm trying to understand the logic. Like, as I listen to your testimony, Ms. Walton, honestly, I keep saying to myself, well, what reason does she have to make up this lie? Like, you've got one baby with the man. So you stuck with him. And if you had another one with him, you all would just be co-parenting and figuring that out. What benefit is it to you to say the other man is your child's biological father 
unless you really believe yeah, that. Honest, she gave Honestly, Brooklyn I believe it in my heart that he is the biological father yeah, of honest. a man. She gave and plus Brooklyn... the other man, he will be more financially helpful. He'll be more of a father to her. Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor. Brooklyn he got my be, last I mean, name. He will be the man that will stand up to take care of his child. Oh, you've decided that this other man is going to take care of Brooklyn She's better than to... Mr. Muhammad. Yes, Never that. Never. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. I'm so do you want to be with this other man, too? That's... Yes, Your Honor. Now it makes sense. Now, that's what she wants. She wants, she trying to, she trying to make that baby belong to this man. That, I don't even know this man. Have you started that relationship? In no. Ain't gonna work. No. Ain't gonna work. Well, why? He's married for number one. Your Honor. Your Honor. He's married for number one. Your Honor. Your Honor. <laughs> Your Honor. See what I'm saying? Your Honor. Honor. Brooklyn got I'm my last name. I'm sitting up here trying hey. to figure out What's she all holding over the them place, back? Huh? What's holding them back? She a all... whole wife. A yeah. whole wife holding them back. You bugging. You bugging. You bugging. She gave Brooklyn my last name. She gave Brooklyn my last name. You gave Brooklyn... I gave Brooklyn his last name Because it's my baby. keep her from being embarrassed later on in life. It's my baby, period. You want your daughters to have... Uh, same last same name. Last name. Cause you definitely couldn't give her the other man's last oh, name. Nah, you can't do that. That's what you give mess with Merck. So then your only option was to give her just your last name, so you didn't want her to get teased. Right. But you think she gave Brooklyn your last name because she's really just trying to be mean, but she knows Brooklyn's your child. Exactly. She know that. So you really want this other man to be the father, too, because you say that's who you want to be with. The only problem is, is that he's married. married. Yeah. But if she you end up the... with this baby by him, that might change. Yes. Oh! No, that ain't gonna change. That ain't gonna change. Hey, yeah. It took uh, me a minute, nah. but I arrived. Nah. nah. <laughs> she don't know what she's talking about. Like I said, she does not know what she's talking about. Look at that baby. Look at her. She looks that's my, more that's like my me. baby. I do not so, see his Miss Walton, I need to ask you, because you come to court to tell the truth yes. and to get the truth. Yes. Is it that you don't believe Mr. Muhammad is Brooklyn's biological child, or is it that you so desperately want to be with the married man that you mm -hmm. want this child as a, another level of attachment to him, or you want it to be the straw that breaks the camel's back in his marriage. No, I'm not a fan of uh, breaking up happy homes. She broke up my happy... You broke up my happy home. She broke... Well, I'm honest, she broke up my happy home. Homes, she I, broke my happy home. I honestly I'm believe done. Mr. Muhammad is I'm not done. my child's father. Did you just say she broke up your happy she home? She broke up my happy home. I did not I'm break up his happy home. I'm done. She Listen, broke up my... I did not break up his happy home. But we... I just feel that he's not the father. We got to get it together, people. We got to get it together. This is messy. I see what exactly is going on now. If these assertions that Ms. Walton has made is true, with the fact that during the window of conception, she was actively sleeping with both men without protection, you all can talk all you want to talk. But really, the paternity question, it's just up in the air. I've, I've heard I've... enough. Jerome, let me get the envelope. I'm glad. Let me get the envelope. Let me get it. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Muhammad versus Walton, when it comes to two-year-old Brooklyn Muhammad, it has been determined by this court Mr. Muhammad, you are the father. Yes. I told you. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, baby. I know what I'm talking about. 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 You hear me? I know what I'm talking about. Right now, you have two children together. Let's stop making this a fight. Do you understand? Yes. I feel like everything between you two is a fight. Your Honor, if she can pay... Mr. Muhammad, yes, you got to learn when to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> I mean, oh. really. All right. You say you're smart. The, the qualities of very intelligent people, 
is that they learn that listening is actually more important than talking. Yes, ma'am. The truth is that doesn't make people want to work with you. And when you're co-parenting, you have to create a scenario where someone wants to work with you. Understand. The relationship between fathers and girls, the way you treat their mother is the way they think it's going to be okay for them to be treated. So if every time their mother tries to say something, you're talking over and shutting her down and you always the smartest and you have all the answers, you will find them mirroring that same relationship where some man is always shutting them down. And you're not gonna like that. So it's important now that you begin to behave and to treat their mother as wrong as she may have been, she admitted it, but at this point now, what you said is true, you're the dad. Now we have to start all over, we've got a press reset, and we gotta start over for the girls. I want them to grow up healthy and happy with both of their parents and to know that they're loved. Yes. All right? So please go talk to Dr. Jeff and figure out how to take the first steps to co-parenting in a healthy way. And I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned. Thank you.